So today on MTD Global, I'm here in Fronten uh, in Germany at DMG Mori. Um, now, I'm going to be looking at a real uh, piece of innovation here. Cornelius, this is a fantastic machine. This is the DMC 125 FD, which is a turn mill machine. But we've got an additional technology on here in the form of grinding. Why have you gone about creating this machine in this way? Yeah, let me uh, say like this. When you compare it with the automotive business, for example, you can compare, for example, with a Q7 or an Audi e-tron. You can go more than 250. You can drive with the whole family. You can go steep, you can go off-road, so you can do almost everything. And that is the same with this DMC 125 FD grinding solution. So there we have three technologies combined in one machine. So that is really high-end technology, what is on the top level you can get worldwide. Okay, now I, I totally get the turning in the milling. I, the FD machine has been around for many, many years and very, very popular. When you introduce grinding into it, there are certain things you need to prepare on the machine. The first thing that I'm thinking of here is the, um, well, let, let's say the, the, the environment, the area, you, you'll get kind of grinding paste when you're, when you're grinding. How does, how does that affect the build of the machine? Does that get into certain areas of the spindle? Is that going to reduce the life of my machine tool, wear and tear? It does not reduce the life, but we have, of course, to uh, integrate then a special grinding package, as we call it in the machine. That means the coolant unit is equipped with a, a special centrifugal um, yeah, uh, filtration unit, where we then go down to 10 microns uh, filtration of the coolant. We have additional wipers in the guideways of our machine. Uh, uh, also, the grease lubrication is uh, in a different way. Uh, then we do it with a standard machine and so we have uh, combined several measures to make uh, the machine reliable even when we do this grinding operation additional. It's like an air purge in the spindle as well isn't there, there's a continuous air pressure coming out so nothing can get in, no particles can get in. Yes, but that is uh, standard anyhow with our spindles so there is not really a big uh, point on that end but we have uh, acoustic uh, sensor in the spindle for uh, approaching the workpiece or the dressing unit. So that is then uh, already a, and, uh, also a modification of the spindle, but uh, in terms of grinding technology and not so much protection. So we are uh, uh, guaranteeing uh, anyhow 36 month warranty and that also does not change when we use the machine for this grinding uh, combination. Okay, now you're housing the tools at the back of the machine as well. Is there any change there? Because I'm, I'm imagining if you can go up to a 400 mil diameter grinding wheel, um, there must be no, no possibility of collisions in the back with tools. Yes, so there we have a special system, uh, but that is then a safety device, let's say, because the re relation of the diameter of the grinding uh, wheel and the speed of the spindle is in a certain rel uh, relation and that has to be uh, safely checked. And that is when you change the tool into the working area, then we check the size of the grinding wheel and then the speed of the spindle is limited according to the uh, size of the wheel. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Now your control here, I mean, you, you're right at the forefront of innovation with Industry 4.0 and all the rest of it at, at DMG Mori. But how is, have you got special software in here that you know, maybe will improve the, 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 the life of the, the grinding wheel, will make the process easy to program and will give you certain feedback in order to make sure you're getting the best out of the grinding technology? Yeah, definitely. So there we have developed over the last few years special grinding cycles for uh, milling machines and that are integrated then on the Siemens control, but uh, based on our own development. And that is for uh, making the uh, cycles uh, easier in the handling for the operator for uh, yeah, uh, flat grinding, outer grinding, inner grinding and also of, for dressing of the grinding wheel itself. And, and let me, let, let's kind of conclude maybe on that, the types of grinding that you can do here, I mean, uh, okay, uh, surface grinding, when you've got the head in the, um, in the well, in, in the position that you've got here, in the horizontal position, but then obviously cylindrical grinding, what else can you do? We, ha we can also uh, do the grinding of uh, profiles, so that is something we are working uh, on at the moment. Uh, of course, then diameters, outer inner diameters, we, we can grind and uh, we have this adaptation, what you can see here behind me on the tool, so that we bring really the coolant directly to the grinding wheel and uh, get best 
the surface performance then uh, by the operation of grinding. Okay, and you've had a lot of success with these machines. You've sold a lot of them, certainly in the last couple of years. Who's been buying them, uh, Cornelius? What's the applications uh, that would be interested in this technology? So it's aerospace industry, of course, uh, where we have already many installations on the DMC 125 FD, also in the general version with uh, multitasking. And it's also, let's say, mechanical engineering. So customers who produce machines and machine tools, uh, they are using this uh, kind of uh, machines. So they could be maybe having a bit of a machine and they could mill it and then they could grind it as well instead of taking it off one machine and putting it onto another. That's really the whole purpose here, isn't it? Yes, of course. So it's uh, the purpose that you get the component machine completely out of one machine and you do not have additional logistical efforts. You uh, have also better uh, accuracy res results because you reduce the number of setups usually. And of course also the investment and uh, the space you need is uh, quite much lower in total uh, what you uh, can realize there. Incredible piece of technology. We've all done it. We've all, we've all milled, we've all turned, we've all needed to mill and we've all needed to grind. Um, but now we have a machine here from DNG Mori and it's not just this machine, it goes on uh, as many machines too uh, that can do all three of those technologies uh, all together. Mm -hmm.